see those little black spots that's the moss man it is all but 100 percent gone hey there it's pete with gci turf hope you're having a great day and this right here is my kentucky bluegrass plot for those you've been following me you know i uh, live in north carolina and central north carolina we get really hot and humid can get really dry during the summer so typically this isn't the grass of choice for this area tall fescue is or bermuda or zoysia but i like a good challenge so we're going to try it out see if i can keep it going you know i've got my uh, ir my little makeshift irrigation set up right here i'm going to attempt to reel mow it uh, kind of like they do on a golf green uh, where those guys got them real mow, get that butter slick, really tight cut on it. And as part of that, the ground needs to be level, okay? And when I seeded last year, I had the ground good and level. But along comes two hurricanes, done a lot of damage to the ground and made it uneven, washed some areas out. So I need to re-level that to get ready for real mowing. I may not be able to get the real mow it this year. I uh, may get it set up for next year. I want to work on getting the turf healthy first before I start doing that and getting the ground leveled out. So, compost, sand, topsoil, which one? Well, I think you can use any of them. Uh, you just, whatever one fits your budget. I personally like compost. And I like the black cow compost that you get from Lowe's or Home Depot or super sod makes a really nice one too that they would deliver to you in this big old uh tote and they'll bring it to your front door so why do i prefer a compost over the other it's not that anything's wrong with the comp uh with the topsoil and sand that's fine i prefer to compost because it gives me an opportunity to put something nutritional on the ground and and it can become part of the dirt okay you know, we talk about using products like RGS in that root cycling effect, which you apply RGS, it really makes your roots so your turf dig deep. The roots in turf grass die off, create new ones, die off, create new ones, and the ones that die off rot and become organic matter. And that's kind of how you begin to build that topsoil layer or, or that, that really rich soil. So by me taking pure compost and putting it on it, I'm kind of speeding that effect up as far as changing the soil profile and getting my dirt to a healthier state. You know, we, we want to get your dirt right, right? So one thing I had is a little bit of poa annual. It's an annual grass that germinates back in September and, and drops its seed or germinates and then it comes up and you can see it this time of the year during the spring. And the little seed pods you see, if they fall down in the ground, there's a chance for them to germinate the following year. So I went around and dug them up, a little scraper that I got from Napa Auto Parts, and it did leave a few little holes, so I'm gonna take that opportunity for to put the compost in those holes, and that Kentucky bluegrass will fill in. It'll actually spread, unlike tall fescue. It's somewhat like Bermuda grass, not quite as aggressive, but it will spread and cover in those areas. Now, I also had a little bit of tall fescue in this bluegrass, and that could probably come from the overseeding I did last fall on my yard. There's really no telling where it came from. There's so much fescue around here. Now I've got my mower set down to about an inch and a half for this particular grass and I'm going to bag it this time because I want to collect everything, leave a really good, nice, clean uh, surface to work with. This right here is by far the biggest chunk I've got. So I'm going to do is pull it up a little bit so I can save as much of this bluegrass as I can possibly save. And I pull it up like that. And then go around the bottom and dig it out.
Now where did this come from? Well, I don't know. Your answer's probably as good as mine. I do know that that, that bluegrass seed I used last year was uh it was a good seed good quality seed but it did have a percentage of weed seed in it so could it have come from that absolutely it could have that's why i promote using a seed that has zero percent weeds in it and zero percent other crop that's pretty important too now, could it have come from somewhere other than the grass seed? Well, absolutely. You know, my neighbors are over there and over there. They don't do a lot to their yard. This guy behind me doesn't do, really do anything to his yard. This guy over here doesn't. Could it have blown over here? Yeah, of course. Could it have already been in the ground? And I've just been doing such a good job at keeping my fescue thick when this used to be fescue that it couldn't germinate? Absolutely all those answers are correct and you know when i broke ground here that gave the poa uh, a, a chance to germinate okay so i got a couple of different ways i can apply this one's the manual way with your hands and a couple of rakes i'll show you how to do that and then the other ways with like a commercial style top dresser it's going to kind of spread it out and fan it out similar to a spreader you might put your fertilizer down with now, hey, before we roll any further, man, I'm telling you, look at this. New Jersey State Police. Whoop, whoop. Now, check this out. If you are involved with law enforcement in any way, I want you to send me a t-shirt, double X or triple X. I'll put my address in the description, and we just want to say thank you for what you do. I got a, I got a special place in my heart for Highway Patrol, I got a brother that's highway patrol and he along with all of the rest of you go out and risk your lives day in and day out. Put your lives on the line, leave your family, go out to protect us and keep us safe. And I tell you what, man, I respect you with every drop of blood in my body. All right, so I got my bag of black cow right here. And now what I don't want to do is I don't want to try and level it up all at one time. Okay, I'm going to do this over a period of time and do it little by little because the last thing you want to do is bury your turf in a bunch of compost. That ain't going to do it but cause you trouble. So what, I'm, what my, my goal here is, is to try and make it disappear. That's kind of what I want to do. I'm just going to kind of work this back and forth. I'm going to be mindful to try and hold my rake level. I don't want to rake like this or like this. Because the goal is to let this help level it up. Something else you can do is just take a regular old broom like this. And that'll kind of help work it down in the canopy. All right, so you can kind of see where we're at now. Now you can tell I put, I put quite a bit more down there simply because that corner is the corner I had all the washing in and it's the most unlevel. So what I'm gonna do now is take my broom and I'm just gonna sit out here for about another hour to a dark. And I'm just gonna work it back and forth and kind of make it disappear down in the canopy. Now, once I get done brooming all this in, or trying to make as much of it disappear as I can, I've got my little irrigation system set up over here. I'm gonna run the water out here for a good solid hour, just to kind of help settle everything down. So hey, thank you for watching. 
Uh, if you're new, like, subscribe, and share, and tell all your buddies. Got lots of cool yard videos to show you this year. Appreciate you watching, and get your compost right.